While the soldiers' sacrifices on the battlefield are obvious, long deployments also create challenges back home. Since the Civil War, finding time to write home to loved ones has oftentimes been the highlight of the day. Though the evolution of technology has made that easier, it's still hard for families to be apart for extended periods of time. My son was born in, in 2005, and I also deployed a few months later. At the time, I guess I didn't feel like it was that big of a deal because I knew he would never remember if I was there or not because he was so young. But it was difficult to, to leave him there and, and, know, and know that I might not ever see him again. Each family deals with the fear of the unknown in different ways. Having a good support system is critical as spouses anxiously anticipate the arrival of their loved ones. Being a single parent for an extended period of time is especially hard with small children wondering when or if they'll ever see them again. The only, you know, they ask the questions and you have to answer them as honestly as you can. Uh, for their age group, uh, our, my daughter thought my husband lived in a cave for a long time, hiding out from the bad guys. So, uh, but yes, we, as honestly as you can, uh, but give them some comfort. I knew in his heart that's where he wanted to be, and so that it was easier um, on me knowing that that's where he wanted to be. I don't, I don't think he would have chose to be anywhere else, and um, it was hard. My dad's coming home. At military bases across the country, homecoming ceremonies are filled with emotional reunions. But after the joy of reconnecting ends, Adjustment back to civilian life rarely goes without a hitch. Soldiers have to reacquaint themselves with family and adapt to a completely new daily routine. It creates a challenging situation for the veteran and the family. I guess it's hard to adjust to feeling like you're safe after you've been in an area of danger for so long. The danger that Army Staff Sergeant Ben Dellinger endured would eventually cost him his left leg. Despite the pain and disappointment that ensued, he persevered and would eventually return home to his wife Katie and son Aiden. He is a Chevrolet everyday hero, and we take a closer look at his story now. My name is Benjamin Dellinger. I'm a retired Staff Sergeant from the 82nd Airborne Division. I was a paratrooper from 2003 to 2009, and I fought three times in Iraq. I lost my left leg just below the knee. I wasn't doing anything that was uh, extremely important in 2002. I, mean, I was 20 years old. Um, I was physically fit, and I just felt like it was my duty to, to join up. I think my mother was just afraid um, but uh, she was she was proud that I, I made the decision, but at the same time, um, if she would have had her choice, I wouldn't have went. We were on a foot patrol. It was during the day. We never actually liked to do stuff during the day because we are obviously more visible. My truck got hit with an ID, got my guys out of the area as soon as possible, and myself and another squad leader along with the Iraqi police secured the area. and. Um, while we were in the process of finishing that up, a uh, secondary went off. I can remember seeing my medic running through the smoke and a couple other of my guys behind him. They got to us quick and they basically saved my life. Fortunately, a duck knocked me out. That kept me from going into shock. I knew I still had to breathe and it seemed like forever for someone to get there to help me, but it was probably only 25 to 30 seconds. But I mean, I felt like maybe if I'd have got, if I would have been unconscious, uh, I don't know, it might have turned out differently. I guess the downside to actually not losing consciousness is you remember the whole thing, and it's sometimes when you shut your eyes, like you, you, you think of, you, you recount those moments. Not something you want to live with, but losing a leg is not that bad compared to what thousands of other guys went through, and like thousands of guys who didn't come back at all. And it, and being that I'm alive and I'm home and like I have a pretty good life, I have 
I have my son, I have my wife, I have friends, and like you start to become a lot more appreciative of of smaller things after you get over being being angry. It was difficult to get your entire career taken away, and then as soon as that happens, you're gonna have to worry about real world things. We wanted to provide a nice house for Aiden. That was our main concern was we wanted Aiden to grow up in a really good community with a lot of kids and, you know, go to a good school. So we were stressed out trying to find a house for our family.